Today we take a first look at the brand new Ultimaker 3. Welcome back. All right, this is a big end. This thing is pretty heavy. Um, it's obviously pretty tall. But I'm very excited by it because this is my first example of a dual extruder, which means it will print two filaments at one time. That allows for multiple colors, and it allows for uh, the ability to build like a support structure that will... Um, dissolve as you work on it. So let's take a look at the top of the box. I'm, it's a little high up here, so I don't have an overhead, but we have a silver filament. We have, this is one of the dissolving supports filaments, which is really exciting. A power cord. And hiding back here, a box of accessories. Put these aside for a moment because it's the box, the big box we want to look at. We'll look at the accessories in a little bit. Take the power cord, put that over here too. All right, big support unit. Get that out of the way. Ooh, that's big. All right, so I'm gonna try to figure out how to get this out of here. I am thinking I should slide it forward to you so you guys can see it. There you go. And then slide it on out. So here's my plan. I'm grabbing onto the frame and I'm pulling it. Whoa, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna come around the front here, move the main box this way, and see if we can get it out. There we go. Okay. We're almost out. Let me get the big box part out of the way. There we go. All right. Box is out of the way. Not necessarily the most gentle unboxing in the world, but it's nice. All right, let's bring this back over here so you guys can see it. There we go. That is the Ultimaker. It's got hard sides on the two sides, hard side on the back. Let's spin it around. So you can see the little Ultimaker robot guy. Filaments come in here. Here are the two filament spools, um, two filament loading spots. Let's bring it back around. These things are attached up here. I'm going to get you some better uh, localized video of that. But this is the basic machine. Pretty cool. Let's see what's inside the accessories box and then we'll start setting it up. We have a quick start guide. We have designed in the Netherlands, assembled in the US. Yes! We have a calibration offset thing. We have a plate, we have glue stick, we have taking this out vaguely gently here, we have spool holders, spool holders I think. That's clearly a spool holder. I'm not quite sure what that is. That looks like a spool holder, but it's powered, so it's something. Unilube. Teeny weeny teeny USB stick. These bad boys, which I kind of would have preferred were in their own separate thing are the actual dual extruders. And there's no easy way for me to sort of set them aside without all this extra cardboard, so I'm not thrilled with that. I'm going to just put them here for the moment. Magnolube. Okay, so we now have Unilube and Magnolube. 
There is a joke there that I am just going to not do. Uh, Ethernet cable. Piece of metal. Screwdriver. And a box within a box. Oh, we have a need help calibration card. Very tiny calibration card that I almost just crushed. All right. And in our box within a box, we have the brick. Serious, serious power brick. Okay, so that is the collection of what's inside the box. In theory, I should probably read the manual next.